Well, it's October and the leaves are coming down. Today, I'm gonna to show you one of the ways that we utilize our leaves. Ready, John? Yep. We have a lot of leaves here in the front of the house. And there's quite a few in the back also. Yesterday, Johnny and his cousins raked up the leaves into a big pile and played in them for most of the day. Now today, we're gonna to take these leaves and put them to good use. You can make it. Johnny's getting pretty good at pushing that wheelbarrow. So I'm not gonna race him anymore because he's starting to get a little faster than me. A little off topic. Something must have died in that field on the other side of those trees. We have these birds circling over. Anyway, back to the leaves. Yesterday, I got my old Montgomery Ward tiller going, which this thing's incredible. Old technology, simple. I left it all summer long. I did drain the gas out of it. Poured a little gas in it, check the oil, fire it up on the third pull. With that, I tilled this part of the garden and dug this trench to put these leaves in. Normally, I don't do this until everything is out but these peppers are still ripening on the vine. We were covering them up on the real cold nights and these tomato vines are shot. I still have some cherry tomatoes that are ripening up on this end, this row over here. So for now, I dug this trench. I'm gonna put these leaves in here, put the dirt back on top of it. As I go along, I have manure from the chicken coop that'll go in here. Ashes from the fireplace I'll be throwing in all winter long. Some I'll save to uh, melt the snow in the driveway. But I'll put ashes in this driveway, the leaves, uh, the mulch pile that I started. It's not fully mulched down, but that'll be going in the trench. Probably on this other side over here when I dig this up. But that's how I prepare my garden for the following year. And no matter what, it seems like I always end up pulling out rocks. This garden plot... Is about four years old I think now five years old it was originally a flower bed and it's a lot smaller than the garden we used to plant as time goes on it gets a little bit more difficult to manage and I needs are a little less right now hey John bring your wheelbarrow hey. hey take that rake out of there I'll let Johnny throw his wheelbarrow in first now if you're doing this and you could cut these leaves up it's better if you just if you cut them up first then do it because the smaller they are the easier they'll break down but I don't have any problem with them breaking down when I do it like this and come spring when you dig this garden up you'll find this full of worms so you see that's just one wheelbarrow and the garden's not big enough to handle all the leaves that I have so the rest of it, now I'll dump that other wheelbarrow in here and cover it up. But let me show you what I do with the rest. For those of you that have been gardening for years, this is old half for you guys and gals. But for somebody just starting, this may be a useful tip. Again, another use for pallets. This mulch bin's been here about oh, at least eight years now. These pallets are starting to rot. I already took a few of them to the dump from the other side. I had a mulch bin on the other side. I'll fill this with leaves. I used to put leaves, dirt, and so on. But now I just throw leaves in there. These are four feet high. By next summer, it'll be down to here, if not lower. Last year, it was down to nothing. What I have been putting, been putting in here this past summer was the chicken manure, anything from the garden. That grass 
is from the laning boxes when I dump them out. I just put it right in here. I'll dig some of this out and put this into the trenches. And I normally just put another pallet in front of it. Now, <laughs> I have this peach tree. I have to dig this up. This grew from one of the peach pits that were in here. I wasn't sure what it was at first, but it's definitely a peach tree. And this is one of the old peach tree. I want to show you. This is one of the old peach trees. This peach tree has to be about 35 years old. Easy. It's one of the few I have remaining from when my grandfather planted them. And he planted them from pits. And the peach tree I just showed you grew from one of the pits that came from the peaches off this tree. Now this year, we didn't get any peaches off them. Some years this tree is loaded with peaches. Some years half the tree will have peaches and half won't. And we had a couple other ones. I have one in the front of the house to the side that it's uh, not doing that well. So this, this one's coming in right on time. And this back here, again, another use for pallets. I have, I don't know how many trailer loads of wood back here. They're all stacked up on pallets and concrete block that people are getting rid of that I put on there to keep the wood from rotting. All this grass here was cut down and mowed when I split this wood, and that was only three months ago. I can't keep up with the weeds. The only reason it's down over here, I have deer that come through here all the time. This is a big deer path all in here. And back in there is where those coyotes come out of, fox, you name it. We have just about everything over here. And these pallets are all deteriorating. They have to come apart. That used to be the garden where that where the chicken run is right now. And I had these pallets up to keep the deer away from the uh, fence to keep them out of the garden. Over time, this tree, I let it grow. But if I put the garden back in, the roots are all through into that chicken run right now. So this will have to come down if I use that for a garden again. There's Rouge, one of our new roosters. We thought she was one of the hens in the beginning, but that didn't work out. That's about it. I've got a little off topic here. I'm starting to ramble on. So, if you don't know what to do with your leaves, rather than burn them, mulch them down. If you don't have a garden and you make something like this, make it big enough to hold the leaves in. When it mulches down, it'll be great around your flower bed. Something just flew by me. It'll be great around your flower bed, your tree, around the base of your trees. You can't beat it. You'll be getting rid of it. You'll keep it out at landfills. You'll be recycling it. And it'll be a help all around to you and everyone else. And keep in mind, even though my channel is a DIY for small engine repair, auto repair, repairs around the home, theme of it is repair, reuse, reclaim, and recycle. Until next time, everyone, stay safe.